Hello everyone, welcome to This Day. It is Saturday, November 2nd. I'm Michael Taylor and you always know it's a Saturday because I'm always here at the desk on Saturday. Welcome to the program. Are you taking all the Halloween stuff down, putting the, do we have Thanksgiving decorations? Do you put a big turkey out front instead of a pumpkin? I don't know. So anyway, welcome to the show. I'm Michael Taylor, as I said, and we got a great one for you. We have community bridge builders on the program today. Rebecca Gillad and Pearl Lee are gonna be here talking to Bree, as well as Bocce and Social Club. Phil uh, Chat Tate is gonna be here. They got a big bingo thing going on for their next social club meeting and it should be a fun one big money prizes too he was telling us so stay tuned for that one as well hey we want to uh, keep you informed and uh, nothing says November like a pool closing for maintenance right <laughs> this is the time of year when those things happen so a uh, pool four is going to be closed for a little while just for a little scheduled maintenance and this is the time of year that they shut those things down and clean up they do replastering make sure the tiles are okay do a little maintenance that kind of thing so most of the activities that are at pool four are going to be transferred over to pool one and so one, two, five are also gonna be open and fine. So you can, if you need to get that pool time in, head over there, but pool four is gonna be closed for about five weeks into December uh, until they get all that maintenance, regular maintenance done and finished up. Let's take a look at our pool weather, and we don't really have pool weather this weekend, right? It's going to be kind of cold, maybe even a little rainy. That's going to be maybe tonight, about a 5% chance of showers, and temperatures are only going to get into the 60s today. Uh, 68 tomorrow on Sunday, and then we warm up just a little, maybe back in the pool on Monday, right? 72 degrees and sunny, yeah, go for it, sure, why not? Let's take a look at our sunrise and our sunset while we're at it. Got a beautiful shot here of um, Balboa Island in the harbor there. Thank you, Cole, for giving us this one. Oh, remember, folks, daylight saving time ends uh, tonight. So when we wake up tomorrow, Sunday, it is going to be daylight savings. Our sunrise and our sunset our times are going to change drastically, but this is the last time we'll have a sunrise for around 7 o'clock. Uh, sunrise this morning was 7 11. Uh, sunset tonight is going to be 5 57. We get to fall back, we get that extra hour of sleep. Should be nice and a little bit more sunlight in the morning, which has been kind of dark when I've been waking up, so it'll be nice to have that too. All right, folks, when we come back, we'll be talking to the folks from, oh, Community Bridge Builders coming up next. Stay with us. inclusive and harmonious community the community bridge builders club is here to bring people together to tell us more Rebecca Gilead Gilead and Pearl Lee welcome to the show ladies thank you thank you thank you for having us we've got a lot to talk about but I want to tell our viewers about your taste of the world through dance food and music but that sounds like a very fun evening. What is the Taste of the World Festival? We're bringing together people from seven different cultures. Seven? Yes. And to share their dances, their music, their food with anybody that is interested in learning about us. My goodness. That sounds like it is going to be not only informative, but very fun. Yes. <laughs> educational as well. Educational as well. Yes. And I understand out of 36 tables that were available, you only have three left. Correct. And it's only October. <laughs> <laughs> and this um, event is taking place December 8th? Correct. So, okay, folks, you heard that. <laughs> There's only three tables available. So if you want to go to this fabulous event, get on the phone now. But let's tell our viewers more about this event. Why are you doing this? We have, uh, in Community Bridge Builders, we try 
to think out of the box and bring together programs that cut across religions, beliefs, cultures, languages, accents. So last year we had the one song, three days of singing together, which we will repeat again next March. And we thought, how about instead of singing together, how about if we dance together? So that it's not only about tell me about yourself, just watch how I do it and then ask me. So for this event, for December 8th, we have 72 dancers. 72 dancers? Yes. From seven, seven countries. That's okay, amazing. We'll, yeah, introduce the dancers from seven different cultures. And so will they be one dance altogether or will there be seven different dances? Or there will be a one at the end, at, the, at the, the beginning. beginning. All the dancers were uh, together. Dance together. And that's the American dance mm -hmm. together. Then each culture each separately. Culture and then at the end, everybody together again. We're back to American. Yes. 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 <laughs> that melting pot, that, yeah, exactly. that blend. Yes. That's and also great. another thing that I think is very interesting is at the beginning of the program, uh, there's a song where we present it. It's called Love in Any Language. And it pretty much says it all. Yes. You know, we, uh, instead of uh, recognizing our differences, we have so much in common. Right. So we need to bring them together and create the, uh, the positive uh, positive atmosphere. I love that it brings awareness to the yes. different cultures. Yes. And so in, in a lot of times you can only find that or be able to appreciate that when you go to different countries. Exactly. So the fact that you're bringing everybody in mm -hmm. together and you get, you get to do that on yes. a one-on-one. -on -one yes. 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 And also if you go to other countries, you only experience one culture. <laughs> That's I've correct. been to many programs That's like uh, the Mooncake Festival by Chinese community. Arirang Festival by Korean community and the Indian events, they only uh, uh, show uh, you know, Indian dances. We're here, we're talking about seven in one uh, perform in one evening. So it's going to be outstanding. And as I, was, mm -hmm. as I was telling you before we mm -hmm. started, the one story that yesterday as one of the groups went to see the other group so they could dance together, two people for the first time, notice that their neighbors, <laughs> that they live in the same building, one apartment on top of the other one, and they had never talked had to never each other. Had never met. Yes, yeah. they had never met until they started dancing together. That's fantastic. Yes. And now they're probably best friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> and we can oh. stop dancing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So who is participating in this event? Uh, the country? The country? Yeah. Oh, let me see. Um, we have the Korean uh, community, the Chinese, Chinese community, um, India, uh, Indian community, Iran, Iran uh, Israel, uh, yeah, Israel and Latin, yeah, we Hawaiian. Call it, yeah, yeah, we call it Latin America instead of one country like all the others because we're doing a mambo. And mambo, even though it was created, it comes from Cuba. It's really danced in all the Latin American countries. So that's why if you see in the if you look at the flyer, it doesn't say Mexico, for example, for example. Right. <laughs> it says Latin America because it's every every it's kind country. of that uh, umbrella for all the rest. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> Did we miss it? And then you've got folks from Hawaii? In Hawaii. Hawaii, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is again USA, but they wanted to do a separate Sure. I mean they have, have mm -hmm. their their own their traditions. Own, yes. Yes, 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 exactly. Right? And they're exactly much yeah. different than yes. here on the main Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know, and also I feel that this is a beginning yes. of a big thing. Yes. Because as people watch this, participate in these programs, there should there would be other groups that wanted to join Absolutely. us in the next programs. And exactly. we'll have more and more. There are so many different groups in the village that they just have not uh, had a chance to participate at this time. Yes. But we welcome every and all groups. Well, yes. it sounds like you're getting a, a lot of participation in yeah. you know, and, and only the 30 food, tables. The food is not <laughs> an easy thing to do. <laughs> food from seven different countries for 360 people. Yes. That's so, quite the undertaking. Yes, no. it's yes. all finger, finger food. food. It's all finger, <laughs> finger food. food. <laughs> it kind of has to be. Yes. So what do you um, hope to achieve by, by doing this? For people to get to know their neighbors, to talk to each other. At the very end, we have a life of orchestra, of uh, entertainment. With, uh, yeah. yeah, the very, very end, mm -hmm. so that everybody can okay. come and dance 
and Bill Ring, the head of the orchestra, who's wonderful. He was our one one of the people in the orchestra for one song of in March. So mm. now he's back for oh, the dance. Wonderful. And at the very end of the program, we're all singing together the one song. Well, and I notice it's it's quite a long program from yes. five fifteen to. About 9.30, and I would imagine that people would stay beyond that. We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go home sometime. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, you know, we talk about diversity and learning about other cultures, but it can be fun. We Absolutely. have to have fun before. Yes. It's, it's really so, fun trying the foods from yes, the other cultures. Get people yes, out so. of their homes and enjoy different things and, you know, be able to um, make new friends and go beyond. Also, talking about going beyond, the teachers of, of dance for every one of these countries are going to be there. So maybe next year you want to participate, learn to yeah. dance the Indian dances or the Latin American dances. Those are classes that take place here. So, okay, now you know the teacher. Go, go and stand and up roll and, and, and learn. <laughs> and, and do you have um, an approximation of how many people are in each dance group? Yes. It varies from six people in the Iran, the Persian group, all the way to 20-something. Yeah, I think Korean is Korean the largest the group uh -huh. because they have a group band dance. Yeah. All right, so how do people get involved in this event and also in future Laguna Woods Community Builders programs? Our, our, join email. The club. <laughs> <laughs> our email is there because if they don't join the club, they can... Find us in, in the globe, but only just before the events. But if yeah. they want to participate, we have incredibly good and interesting committees. For example, we're starting a committee on disability. Oh. So how do you bring together people oh that goodness. usually That's don't? That's wonderful. Uh -huh. yeah. So Fantastic. there are very uh, program committee so that they can tell us, okay, I would love to see. Da -da 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 -da. Absolutely. And they can get involved. Even if they don't want to be members, mm -hmm. just get involved. Get we involved. also have a website. Mm -hmm. We established a website. People can log in and be able okay. to see what's going on. And also, um, you know, Community Bridges uh, builders are uh, fairly young. We just uh, celebrated our first anniversary. Just the first. Yes. yes. Congratulations. September. Thank you. And Congratulations. We, our membership is, uh, I think, approaching 300. I think it's yes. over 300. Well, it's so, a great club. Yes. It's and monthly club. events are wonderful. We, uh, Rebecca, try very hard to bring the uh, very interesting guest speakers. Mm -hmm. And we have a discussion groups. And through these, you know, people get to know each other and discuss the issues that we never thought about, but it's very serious to senior citizens. And very fun. Yes. Very fun. So very fun. get your tickets, folks. Yes. <laughs> From the Community Bridge Builders Program here in Laguna Woods Village, we thank Rebecca and Pearl yeah, for and coming Pauline. in today. <laughs> thank you for joining us. You better call today. Yeah. You better call today. Yeah. Three tables left. <laughs> You're watching This Day on Village TV. We all need someone to hold our hand now more than ever. And when you need help with your hearing, we will not only hold your hand, but we'll help walk with you through the process. Hi, I'm Ann Mundell Noel, audiologist and owner of Amazing Hearing. Oticon's More Hearing Aids with deep neural networking and artificial intelligence helps you hear people in noise with greater detail and clarity. The Oticon More and Amazing Hearing. We're here to help give you a helping hand. The Bachi and Social Club is rolling into the holidays with bingo and a big Italian dinner. Here to tell us more, we welcome Phil Che. Thank you. Hi there. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, it's fun to be back. You've got some fun, exciting events to get into, but uh, before we do that, can you tell the community a little bit more about what the Bachi Club is? 
Uh, what the bocce club is, I'm sure, I don't know how many people are familiar with the game bocce. It's an old Italian game, but just rolling balls, try to hit a white ball that's down there called the Polini. I'm not going to go into the details of it, but the real benefits of bocce are the fact that men and women are equal. There's no physical advantage men have over women, so it makes it a very interesting game there. In fact, we have a gentleman who's in a wheelchair that plays. We have a ramp to go on the court, and he is a very good player. That's so I'm just great. saying we want to just show people there's no physical limitations to playing the game. Everyone's on equal ground. So that's basically what the game is about. We play three times a week on now Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. And right now we're on winter hours because it gets dark early, so we're at 1.30 right. to 4 o'clock. And we play down by Courthouse One, by the pool and the library. Fabulous. Um, so is it open to memberships only? No, membership and people bring guests and they bring some, bring their grandkids who have beaten me, but yeah. yeah uh -oh. it, it's mostly, you know, we, look, we look for members, but remember, you can come as a guest and try it out. And most people, when they come down as a guest and they try it out and they play and they meet, because it's not just the bocce, it's, it's the fact that all the people there. We usually have 35 to 40 people show up. So in between games, turnout. there's a great deal of socialization there and just fun. So yeah, no, it's open to everyone to come down and hopefully they'll become members. Yeah, what, what are the benefits of becoming a member? Well, we kept the membership fees low. I mean, it's $15 for the year. And That's what you get from that, low. besides the fact of playing you know, three times a week, as I said, on Thursdays, we actually have a potluck lunch or dinner, mostly dinner lunch, where people bring their members bring their favorite dishes and some of them are pretty good cooks, so some pretty good food there. <laughs> and as well as we provide wine, soda, chips, and cookies. And there's no charge for that, and that's every single Thursday. And this is $15? For the year. A year. Wait, I'm not done yet. Wow. <laughs> so that's just for that. And then on top of that for your membership, every event we have, we usually hold 11, 12 events a year, you get $5 off every event. So right there after three events, you're even. And then on top of that, we have a barbecue for members once a year that's free, totally full-blown barbecue, et cetera. So between playing the bocce, the socialization, the potluck, you know, all that for $15, it's it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, that's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah, that, thank you. That, I, I wouldn't use that word, but yes, that's what it is, a no-brainer. I'll say it for you. Okay. <laughs> so, and you also have some improvements that are coming to the courts. Yeah, from what I have found out that uh, we've been approved to have the courts replaced. So we're having the courts replaced, uh, new covers and all that kind of stuff. And they're replacing all the furniture in its, its older furniture. The Bocce Club's been around for 51 years, so it's the longest, one of the longest running one clubs. One of the oldest clubs. And uh, basically, uh, the furniture is not, not 51 years old, thankfully, <laughs> but I'm just saying they're replacing all the furniture with new furniture and making some improvements to the facility and new carts. So it's, it's really good now. It's going to be much better then, and that's supposed to happen in January, February, that kind of time. Frame. Very soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, right yeah. around the corner. Oh, I know wow. it's been on the budget. I heard it was approved, so I'm hoping it goes through. But, yeah. Okay. So what other highlights do you have in store for the club this year? Well, a new thing we started this year was uh, tournaments against other communities. In fact, we had two tournaments against Leisure World this year uh, where they brought a team of 20 people down, and we played again. We, kept, we call it the Old Geezers Tournament. Mm -hmm. So we played them twice, and then we had you know lunch or dinner, depending on the time they came down after that. It was a great event. As I said, they brought down 20 players. And we're speaking to other communities now, Mission VA, Alicia VA, et cetera, who have bocce clubs to start a tournament playing against them. So I mean, we're hopefully gonna expand just, you know, instead of just playing with our members, to expand it also to meet new people. So we're definitely gonna do that next year. We're gonna expand it much beyond what we've done this year. Another new change this year was we added sponsors to our, and again, the sponsors, their generosity is great. We appreciate everything they do for us, we really do. Uh, but because of their generosity, we were able to improve the quality of our food, our prizes, et cetera, without raising prices to the members and guests. So we want to give them the best experience possible without raising prices, and the, and the sponsors allowed us to do that. Hopefully the people that come to the event won't realize that and patronize these people, but again, they didn't do it for that reason. They did it out of generosity, right. wanting to help the club and helping charity. So that's right. the reason they just so I definitely appreciate what they've done. Oh, very grateful for that. Yeah, absolutely. Very wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So then let's talk about your mega bingo event. Yeah, we've had, we had one a few months ago and it, we sold out. We had over 200 people show up and that was, like, we would have had more, but we hit the capacity of Clubhouse too, so we couldn't go more than that. And the reason for that is we're offering, I know I'm not allowed to see the number, so we're offering the largest prizes we ever have. And that's to say, compared to what I've heard in other clubs, they're, they're right up there. So they're, they're pretty lucrative prizes. We play 13 games. Uh, nine regular, three special, and one blackout. And then on top of that, we have 10 raffles for cash prizes. So theoretically, we have 23 chances to win some decent My money, goodness. as I said. And the admission 
is only $20 for members and $25 for guests, and that includes a full-blown Italian buffet by 19th hole. And I mean, I couldn't believe, <laughs> most people know Tony, how many items he put on, on the buffet this year. So you get a full-blown buffet, and you get the bingo with huge prizes, and only for $25 bucks for guests and $20 for members. It sounds like everyone's going to come away with a plus. A lot of people won't, because don't forget, sometimes it's split prizes. But I mean, everyone was really happy with the last one. They'll be happy with this one. But you have to get your reservations. You have that flyer up there. I'll hold this one up, too. This is the flyer that you'll actually see in the clubhouses. And I'm just letting everyone know that the capacity is 210, and we're, I think we're up to about 150 right now. So if you're interested, please get go pick one of these up and get it in as soon as you can. It's filling up fast. Yeah, well, again, when you offer that kind of prizes, they do typically, and the kind of food. They well, I was, I was looking up. at this menu here. I mean, it, it looks amazing. Yeah, I know. I said it's the same thing when I saw all the stuff he was to, giving us. I said, to Tuscany, chicken piccata, big ziti. <laughs> I, I said the same thing. I said, okay, I mean, we'll do it. So, yeah, that's what that came from the 19th hole, and we said, We'll go for it. So, so again, it's a great dinner and a great. So, it's, again, I hate to use the word used before, but a no-brainer. Well, and a, and a wonderful way to meet new friends. Oh yeah, I know people come out again and again. Since we're nonprofit, like all the other clubs in Laguna Woods, all our net profits go to charity. So, I mean, we just we're just doing this to have everyone have a good time, great make some time. good money, and if there's anything we have left over, it goes to charity. So Fabulous. we're good. So you also, in addition to everything else that you're doing, you also have a holiday dinner dance coming yes. up. Yes. I don't remember the date now. It's the second Tuesday. I know every month. So it's whatever the second Tuesday in December is. I can't remember the date. But we're going to have a holiday dinner with Band X, who everyone knows, a great band that plays locally here. Mm -hmm. And we'll have a dinner catered by Martinez. So it's a fully catered dinner with Band X playing. With, the room will be decorated correctly and surprised, et cetera. And we're, I, we, I don't know what the price is, but I think from what I heard initially, we haven't said it yet, it's going to be probably about $15, $20 less than a lot of the other ones I've seen out there. But again, same quality, et cetera. And everyone's doing a great event, and we just, we're just holding ours, too. We have it every year, and it's, a good, it's a really good again. So Band X and Martinez Catered Food, full dinner party, decorated the works. My goodness. So just wake up and have fun. Yeah, no, as I said, there's a lot of, we have a lot of competition, a good competition because all the clubs do great jobs. So, I mean, we just want to try to keep up with the Joneses and, and kind of match them up. So we do it. And like I said, our staff, our board does a great job in doing all this. So it's, it's all good. It's, it, it's been a good experience. Wonderful. Well, we need to um, ensure that our viewers know to get their tickets for the bingo night. Yeah, as I said, the flyer, it's, it's on the bottom of the uh, flyer. As I said, tells you where to send the check to and who to send the check to. And as I said, it's been great. And as I, one thing I did leave out, that our membership right now has grown to 330 people. So wow. we've grown quite a bit this year, and we're looking to grow some more. But, yeah, it's been very successful from a just everyone enjoys playing the game, socializing, the events we hold. You know the prices we charge for that. Right. It's just overall. I mean, as I said, as you said before, it's, it's really a no-brainer if you yes. think about it to join it. But again, we just hope people take advantage of it. Absolutely, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming and sharing this information with us, Phil. Well, thank Appreciate you for the opportunity. It. Thank you, Phil from the Bocce and Social Club. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. And thank you for joining us. You're watching this day on Village TV. Do you suffer from low back pain? Hogue Orthopedic Institute is the number one provider of orthopedic and spine care in Orange County. Our Back to You program is a unique, non-operative, evidence-based approach to treating low back pain. Our spine strengthening program combines physical therapy with education on pain and nutrition. Let Hogue Orthopedic Institute's Back to You program get you back to doing what you love. For more information, visit hoiexperts.com slash spine or call 855-999-4641 to find a doctor. Hey, let's talk Saturday movie. We got a fun one, just came out this year. It is The Fall Guy. Remember the old TV show, The Fall Guy with Lee Majors? Well, this one stars Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. It is uh, gonna be brought to us by Radnet. Gonna be on 2 p.m. with the subtitles and 6 p.m. without the subtitles. As the story goes, he's a stuntman fresh off an almost career-ending accident, has to track down a missing movie star, solve a conspiracy, and try to win back the love of his life while doing his day job. 
what could possibly go wrong. That's a lot to pack into one movie, but Ryan and Emily, they can do it. I'm not worried about that one. So enjoy that one at two and six today. Let's take a quick check of the weather before we head out. And we've got uh, a good night for a movie, actually. It might be a little cloudy tonight, maybe even a few sprinkles. So stay in and watch The Fall Guy. Uh, we've got uh, rain maybe in the forecast, a 5% chance, really. Low, uh, low tonight's going to be 49 degrees. So uh, keep the heater on, get a blanket, turn the fireplace on, and watch that movie. Tomorrow uh, going to be about 68 degrees without any chance of rain anymore. And then 72, we got sunny and 72 on Monday. Pretty good temperatures for Monday. Uh, good day, way to start the new week. All right, that's going to do it for this edition of This Day Monday on the program. Cat Club and Habitat for Humanity will be here, so stay tuned for that. For all of us here this day, I'm Michael Taylor. We hope you make this day a great one.